Hi everyone, welcome back to Nick's Diecast. For today's video, I'll be showing you and reviewing this 118th scale 1996 Chevrolet Corvette convertible made by Maisto. This is a fairly good model from uh, Maisto. Um, it's been discontinued for quite some time now. I'm not really sure when exactly they stopped the production of this particular model. Um, but Maisto made the 96 Corvette in both the uh, coupe and uh, convertible styles. Um, with the coupe, you, of course, had the rear window back here, and it also had a roof panel that um, came off, and the convertibles um, are as what you see here. Uh, both of them came in various colors. The convertible came in this really cool kind of eggplant purple. Um, it also came in bright red, white, um, etc., and the coupe came in dark green, black, and I think bright red, too. Now, in terms of fourth-generation Corvettes, Maisto made a fair bit of models of these of this particular Corvette um, generation. So this generation came out in 1984, and it was restyled around 1990 when the ZR1 was um, introduced. And Maisto did actually make a model of the 1992 Corvette ZR1 and also the 1993 Corvette ZR1 Anniversary Edition. And they're both actually very similar to the 1996 Corvette model you see here. Um, they had the same wheels, a very similar interior, and kind of similar details overall. Um, there are a few differences, though. They were offered in different colors for each of the models. Um, and also the engines that are in the 96 Corvettes are different from the engines in the, in the Corvette um, ZR1s. But to kind of give you an idea of how similar those two models looked, um, I have that mini catalog here that I got with that Dodge Concept vehicle model a few months back. So if we open it up here... So here's the 96 Corvette right here. Um, you see it came in purple, white, and it looks like blue. Um, the blue was for the Grand Sport Special Edition, which actually had different wheels than this does. It, it had black five-spoke wheels. I'm trying to find, where's that 92? Yeah, and then here's the Corvette um, ZR1 right here. Very, very similar, as you can see. Of course, you had the ZR1 badge along the front um, of the hood there, and also the interior was all black on all those models. Might still offered a few different interior colors for the 96 Corvettes. That was a bit of, I guess, a little like a buyer's guide um, for mice to C4 Corvettes. They're all very similar in terms of details, but different in terms of, I guess, wheel styles and engines and whatnot. But they do really invite, you know, wheel swaps and interior swaps and whatnot. So I found this 96 Corvette model on eBay for $20. I'd say that was a great deal considering it's been uh, discontinued for quite some time. And overall, the details are, uh, are fairly well done, but there are a few areas that you can tell. Yeah, this is from the 90s because it kind of lacks detail in some areas, but I'll get to that throughout the, uh, the uh, review here. We'll go ahead and start with the front here when we take a look at the details. Um, so this model does, uh, the 96 Corvette did have the uh, pop-up um, headlights, so you don't, of course, get that on this Maisto model, but the outlines are there um, for when the lights do pop up. But these lower turn signals and uh, indicator lights down here, Maisto actually did a very nice job with. Um, they're separate plastic lenses, as you can see, and there's actually no pegs to, um, to be seen. So that's actually a very nice touch. The bumper is made of a full metal, too, which is another uh, kind of nice feature. You can see there's Corvette down there. Um, all the C4 Corvettes from 84 through 96 said that on, on the front, which, which is a cool little uh, detail. The badge up here, as you can see, is a sticker, and on some versions I have seen some peeling with, with the sticker. So if you do get this model, just be very careful when you're cleaning it because the sticker might peel off after some time. Maisto made the 96 Corvette until I think the mid-2000s, so I don't know if they improved the model and maybe made this like a painted feature in later years. This is an earlier version of the model. This was actually made in March of 96, um, judging by what the date said on the box when I got the model. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit uh, disappointing, but at least the sticker is kind of censored on there. Same in the back, too. That's also a sticker. So just be careful when you're, you know, cleaning the model or having it out for a long period of time because the sticker might eventually peel with uh, exposure and whatnot. The paint quality on this model is okay. Um, this kind of dark eggplant purple was called dark purple metallic, and it was available on the C4 Corvette in real life. I think 90, 1994 was the first year it was made available. So this is actually one of the last colors that was offered new on the car. And I, I think it looks very nice, especially with this kind of two-tone beige and black interior. It's very like 1990s. <laughs> but in the sense of the accuracy of, of the paint color, Maestro did a great job. But the quality of the paint itself 
not as much. You can see there's lots of kind of rough, like orange peel surfaces back here. It's not noticeable necessarily in indirect light, but in direct light, you can definitely see it. Um, like there's a little bit right here and everything. But they do a nice job with like the metallic appearance and everything. And at least the shade of purple is consistent throughout. There's no like dark areas or light areas or underspray. It's just like the orange peel. And a lot of nice, those 1990s models had that. So just be aware of that. It's not a huge deal, but it is noticeable in some cases, like on this model. Taking a look at the side, you do get these Goodyear tires. Um, my still in the 90s, I did a lot of the tire branding, which is very cool to see. And these kind of saw blade wheels look very nice um, too. They have like the lug nuts in the centers and also the very small um, Corvette badges, as, as you can see, on both the front and, and the rear wheels. And of course, you do get full suspension and full steering. Very good steering, I might add, too. It's kind of cool to display the car like this with the wheels turned on just a little bit. Mirrors are made of metal as you can see but this windshield extremely flimsy um i'm i'm afraid just touching it that it might like you know snap or crack or anything so just be very careful with that and the same goes for all of maestos corvette windshields for their c4 models like the like the zr1 the grand sport and the 1996 corvette coupe they all have the same kind of flimsy windshield so just be so just be very careful always kind of carry the car like this or from underneath just so you avoid you know breaking that um thin plastic piece on there. On the other hand, though, they do a nice job with these door handles. They're actually separate molded plastic pieces and they even have a little kind of door lock on them too. So that's actually a cool feature. Also, pedal gaps are kind of hard to see because this is a dark colored car, but they are kind of wide. So just if you buy like the white version or, or, or the bright red or the yellow versions, you will kind of see them um, more noticeably, but that's not a big deal. And moving along to the back, you do have separate lights for or separate plastic pieces for the turn signals the rear tail lights and also for the license plate lights too they all look very very well done and this corvette badge back here is actually painted on it's not a sticker i don't know why all the other badges on here are stickers but at least that one is not a sticker and it does look uh, um, very well done the exhaust pipes down here very unusual for mice though they are not done in chrome they're actually done in black plastic so they kind of do look more um, realistic, I guess, than other Maisto tailpipes would. So that's kind of a nice touch. You could always like maybe paint them silver if you really want them to look silver. And you can really see that kind of like metallic sparkle in, in the paint back here too. It, it looks very cool. In terms of opening features, you don't get anything opening in the back here. I think this part here would open up because that's where the folding top would be. But on this model, of, of course, you don't get that. But that's, that's not really a big deal. Of course, you do get an, an, um, an opening hood. It opens up like so in this direction. And there is a prop rod in here too. It's kind of hard to put up with one hand, but um, this hood won't ever, you know, fall closed because you do have this nice uh, prop rod included in there. And it does kind of fold back down into the engine and clips into place, as you can see here. Overall, good detailing on the engine. There's actually more to see underneath than there is here, but the main block is done nicely. It says Corvette um, on either side, and there's some kind of inscription in the front there. There's actually some nice texturing on the plastic itself too. There's actually some red wiring, as you can see. It's not really noticeable from this angle, but from the bottom of the car, you can actually see it a lot better. Uh, there's a little like reservoir here. There's actually some vents too for like the for like the wipers, which which is a very cool to see. And you do get some piping and stuff in the front there. Um, the ZR1's engine is slightly different. This is the LT4 engine that the '96 Corvette had, I think, for the first time. I don't know if this engine made it over to the C5 or not. But this engine is different from the from the ZR1 engine that it Maisto did. But they're very similar in terms of detail. Like they're kind of done with like a two or three plastic piece um, design with a few uh, like wires included um, here and there. But overall, I think they did a great job with the engine. Go ahead and close that up. Doors open very wide because they are on dog leg hinges. So that's always nice to see. You can see all the detail on the interior. And because this is a roadster, it is kind of easy to put the camera in there to look at the details. So, not much to see on the door panels, very kind of like Motor Max-like, I might add. But I don't really know if there was like coloring on the real door panels. I would assume there was uh, maybe like window buttons that should be colored in, and there's a little handle on here. But you can always just add those details yourself if, if you check out real pictures of the 96 Corvette's um, interior. But um, overall, there is actually a nice texture on, on the door panel, and the piece itself is, uh, isn't loose or anything, so at, at least it has that um, going for it. detail on the dashboard is okay at best. Um, all the buttons are properly 
kind of aligned and everything, but they're not really colored in, which is kind of unusual for a mice though model. Um, but you do get kind of a nice like leather pattern on the dashboard on this side, as you can see, especially with those vents there. But um, just kind of a lack of detail. It almost looks like there's a GPS screen right there, that top little rectangle. I don't know if the 96 model had that or not, but I mean, all the buttons are there. They're just not really colored in. So that's a little bit of, of a disappointment. But again, you can always just paint them yourself if you really um, um, like wanted to. The mirror actually doesn't have a reflective piece in it, and that's how it is for all the um, for all of my those C4 Corvette models. But you can always either maybe like put a little piece of tin foil in there, or maybe just you know color it in silver. But uh, the shifter is actually nicely done. It's done in a separate piece that should be all black, and and it is all black. It kind of moves a little bit too, so just be careful. You don't want to break that off or anything. Um, despite the lack of detailing on the dashboard and the center console, the seats are actually uh, very. Uh, uh, well done. The overall shape and, and like leather texture on them, Meister did a great job with. There's even, um, it says collector's edition um, on the seats there. And that's because Meister actually made a model of the 96 collector's edition. That model is silver and it has the five spoke wheels. I think they just recycled the seats from that. If you really wanted to, you could remove the inscription with maybe like an expo marker and just rub it off after you put it on there. But I'm going to keep it on there. I think it has a nice kind of a touch to it. But it is kind of inaccurate for the purple colored car to have those particular um, headrests, but at least the beige seats look really cool with this color. <laughs> the seats do actually fold, which is a very nice touch. Maestro doesn't really do that much on their models um, today that they offer. And you do get full seat belts, as you can see here. Very nice. There's a better view of the folding seats from, from, the, from the back there. I think the C4 Corvette just looks great from all angles, especially with this kind of dark purple metallic. It's a very kind of unique color, I think. You don't really see many cars in that color um, today, per se. It was very kind of a 90s color, I, th I think. <laughs> I would take a look at the undercarriage last. There's the engine detail that I was talking about earlier. You can see there's all the wires there and some of the silver and chrome detail. It's kind of cool how you can see more of it underneath than you can from up above. I guess that is accurate to the real car, too. And instead of chrome, they kind of do like a rougher um, textured silver for these um, exhaust pipes, and they actually do look uh, pretty cool in terms of their detail. So when picking which Maisto C4 Corvette to buy, whether that's the 92 ZR1 or the 93 Anniversary or the 96 Corvette Coupe or a Roadster, it all comes down to preference on body style, wheels, and colors. Because um, as I said, um, they offered the Corvette Grand Sport um, 96 model, that was the light blue with the uh, white stripe going down the hood and, and, and the black five spoke wheels. And the other 96 Corvette coupes and convertibles had the same wheels that you see here, kind of that blade style. These are also on the Corvette um, ZR1 that Maisto sold as well. But all of them um, go for pretty cheap on eBay if, if um, you can find them. There are some rare ones, like Maisto made a model of the last 1996 Corvette. That was done in white with this kind of same colored um, interior five spoke wheels and it said last C4 across the windshield. That kind of goes for more money than, you know, this particular color does. I think the cheapest ones I've seen are the purple and light blue 96 Corvette convertibles. They seem to be listed more often on eBay and they're probably easier to find as a result. And also the Corvette ZR1s, depending on what color you get them in. Like if it's white, they're usually cheaper than if they're in like, you know, bright yellow. Um, so it really all comes down to which color and body style or year that you like with this car. But I think the 96 is uh, very nice because it's kind of unique in the sense that it was the last year of the C4 Corvette. And also it might still offer some pretty cool colors for it, like that kind of dark forest green for, for the coupe and this eggplant purple for, for the Roadster. So it really all comes down to, to a preference. Details are very similar in um, all three of those models, as I talked about. Um, overall, I hope this was helpful. This, I know, ran a bit longer than my other reviews because there was a lot to talk about with the differences between the, you know, Maisto C4 Corvettes that were offered and it's the details overall on this model too. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think down below in the comments of this model. Thanks for watching.